Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is John for those of you that are new. And I'm uh, I'm piloting a uh, Dodge Challenger Scat Pack wide body 2019. And um <clears throat> If you guys had watched before, I had an issue with my rims. They, um, when I got my oil change done, I had them rotate my tires, and they, uh, I don't know, they didn't use some kind of extension. These are deep dish mags, right? I got the Devil's rims on here. 305, 35ZR20s, uh, and I'm running the um, P0 all season. So the Pirellis are, you know, pretty good tires and everything, but they're, you know, jack of all trade. Anyway, um, somehow the rear tires had gotten worn down. Don't know how that happened, but when I did the rotation and went to the front, and as we've been getting this torrential rain, it's been, um, you know, hydroplaning a little bit. So... I figured, okay, so they got me my new rims. They're replacing my rims that they damaged. And I figured now's a good time to just get new tires. I don't really need new tires. The front, the ones that were in the back are now on the front. They're almost to the wear bar. So yeah, those ones I could see it, but the back ones are about halfway through. But um, I'm just gonna change all four. Four tires, four tires. And um, so I'm putting on, you know, I have big, long debate whether I wanted to go you know I was gonna go with Michelin I like Michelin um, whether I'm gonna go with the pilot sport 4s or if I'm gonna go with the pilot sport 4 all season now obviously the all season is not gonna be as good as the regular dry summer tire um, but you know I this is my daily driver even though I don't drive it very much so I need something that's going to be uh, pretty good if, if I do get caught out in the snow or bad weather. We don't get that much snow here, but um, I don't race this thing. If I was like really, if I was younger, <laughs> I would totally get the summer tire. But the thing is with the summer tires, they're really sticky and like stuff like this on the road, the rocks and stuff, it'll, it'll kick them up into your paint. I've seen a lot of people when they get those... Uh, those uh, guards to protect your uh, your paint well I don't like the looks of mud flaps and uh, I don't really want to put them on I get better life with the all season so I'm going with the all season I'm wimping out you know call me a puss but um you know if I was racing the car I would I would definitely get a, a race tire you know but uh, we gotta be taking some compromises on what I'm gonna put on here so anyway, uh, long story short, I'm going to uh, do some 0 to 60s runs with this uh, this tire. We've been having so much rain lately. Um, I don't know what that means to the roads. I would think it would mean I'd get better grip because it's dry right now. But it's, uh, it's 82 degrees and the humidity is really high. So I don't think my car is going to be running all that fast. But... You know, if I'm going to put new tires on there, I'd like to maybe get a comparison of how the P-Zeros do versus the all the other ones. And these P-Zeros are all season, so I'm going to be comparing. But these are like halfway run through now. When I tested them when they, they were new, when I did some 0-60s, to 60s, I got between uh, average about a 4.4. I could get 4.2 once in a while, 4.8, pretty easy. 4.8, 4.2, somewhere in there. So I'm gonna do it today. I'm ex and I got a half a tank of gas. I got some stuff in the trunk, and uh, believe it or not, sometimes having more gas than weight in the trunk seems to help my times. I, I've tried it when it was near empty and it wasn't wasn't very good. So I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna do this. It's always like when I go to do a zero to sixty, there's a bunch of traffic. So anyway, um, yeah, let's just see what I get. I don't have um, really a good way to hold the camera. I guess I can use the dash cam. I'll, I'll edit through the dash cam and I'll try to keep this pointed down here. 
speed limit on a lot of these roads are 55. I don't know about this road. But, um, I'm going to go to a spot where there's not many houses. And I'm not going to be going all that fast anyway. So, I put the, uh, I'm going to put it in sport mode. No, I'm going custom, let's see. Traction street, yeah. So I'm going to go this mode here. I've done speeds here, uh, speed tests here before, and never got really high numbers. Let's turn around here and try it again. All right, let's try it with um, just in sport mode. Let's try sport mode here. This is a little bit uphill. So, I mean, I just, I want something that's kind of comfortable to cruise around with on the highway. So, <clears throat> I think the all seasons is supposed to be a little bit quieter and smoother. So, I got somebody that's going to take my old tires. I don't know. Maybe I should keep the rear ones. I don't need to keep the other ones, but...
can feel it, you know, skewing a little bit side to side. to do while I'm holding this thing I don't know some people use the paddles I'm, I'm just letting the transmission do its thing it kind of took off in second gear there so I got 309 gears so that's about what it is um, shitty launches will be in the fi low fives and uh, good launches will be low you know low fours so yeah wide body scat pack devil's rims all season uh, p zeros on here Alright, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. <laughs> hey, I'll do this again with the new tires. I'm going to wait till they get a little bit broken in, but uh, then I'll, I'll see if they're any better on the Michelin. Alright, later. I'm at the dealership right now. Um, I'm going to take a look at the tires before they put them on. I got the uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4 all season, not the, not the summer one. I want to see how this looks. You're going to reel it out here. Cool. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is a totally different. See how they did the siping on it? Yeah. It's gonna look real good on there. Alright, I got the new tires on. Look at these bad boys. Nice rim protector on them. This is brand new, all season tire that just came out by Michelin. There's like no reviews on it. I gotta do a review on this tire. Of course you can't review them until a little while. Got a coating on them. The new rim's looking good. about that I like having Michelin's on my car I'll turn the wheel a little bit when I get home show you the tread pilot sport fours are a well-known tire really high highly rated I got the all-season one because we have a lot of um, a lot of torrential rains down here this thing's got a lot of sipes so you can see the tire pretty good the tread patterns enormous it's 12 inches wide the other one was I think 11 or 11.2 this one is 12 inches wide um, so really nice get a lot of tread on it you get more meat on the all seasons um yeah it's not going to be something i'm going to take on the track so but yeah i'm pretty happy i got my my new rims all four and uh they look really good and uh yeah the tires they didn't uh he said he tried to clean them off they got a coating on them so um so that's why they look a little foggy but next time i wash the car i'll i'll clean them so I've always liked Michelin and these tires I got on my wife's car these are the Continental True Contact these have been really good tires as well so uh, the tires are pretty good well, she probably needs to get them rotated though mm, looks like she did get them rotated anyway so yeah um, yeah, so there's a rebate on these things. I got a $120 rebate, um, and I sold the old tires for 100 bucks. So, two of them were pretty good shape. The other two were pretty well worn. But, uh, you know, I'll have to deal with them for a while now. We looked at my brakes. Brakes look good. 
rotors look good, everything looked good, so. So much for the burnouts. No more burnouts, guys. <laughs> I saw I saw how much it tears up the tires. Um because comparing what was on the front to the back, and I'm I had rotated, I put the back ones on the front, but still the difference, I mean, a few burnouts make, so if you're gonna do burnouts, put cheap ass tires on, don't put nice ones on. So I won't be spinning these visual ones. But um, anyway, well that's that. Talk to you later. Have a great one. Like, subscribe. Have a great weekend.